Hi guys, welcome to Classic Sitcoms, Facts and Trivia. Today it's actually Classic TV, since today's subject is the TV show Emergency. Remember, Squad 51, Squad 51. Love that show. Um, and here's some facts about the television show Emergency. Let's take a look. There were only 12 paramedic units in North America when the show premiered. In a sense, Emergency saved lives in a real world. According to the book Emergency Behind the Scene, there were only 12 paramedic units in all of North America when the series made its debut in 1972. By 77, over 50% of all Americans were within 10 minutes of an ambulance unit or paramedic rescue, thanks to the influence of the gripping television drama. Television rescues were ripped from the pages of real log books. In 2014 interview, Randolph Mantooth uh, explained how series co-creator and producer uh, Robert A. Sinatra, uh, if that's pronounced right, asked the writing staff to pull all of the rescues to be portrayed on the show from a real fire station's logbook. Told him it didn't have to come from just the LA COFD or to Los Angeles or even California, but it did have to come from someone's logbook. At first, the writers protested, but after reading the logbooks uh, from around the country, they proclaimed that you couldn't make some of this stuff up. John Travolta earned his first TV credit on the show. In 72, after moving to LA to pursue his acting career, young Travolta landed his first credited television role on the second episode of the second season of Emergency Kids. Uh, the soon-to-be sweat hog plays a 16-year-old hiker who falls off a cliff. Yep, that's Biddy Barbarino lying on the ground. This is also the episode that's introduced Boot the Dog. Crew wore real badges. The badges used on the show were authentic fire department badges. Each night after filming had finished, the shields were collected, safely stored away, and then reissued the next day. There was an emergency cartoon. Considering the realism of the show, it might surprise you to learn that there was an adapted uh, into that most unreal of medium Saturday morning cartoons. The attention to detail slipped a bit with Emergency Plus 4. In the opening sequence, Roy DeSoto is shown sliding down a fireman's pole in one story firehouse. Oh, and there was a monkey. Uh, the Plus 4 references to an ambulance piloted by a group of children and their pets that assisted DeSoto and Gage. Uh, Series regulars Kevin Ty and Randolph Mantooth voiced the animated characters as well. There's a failed animal control spinoff with Mark Harmon called 905 Wild. Uh, the Series 4 episode, 905 Wild, was intended to be a pilot for a new show chronicling the cases of the two LA County Departments of Animal Control Officers, played by Mark Harmon and Albert Popwell. Uh, the spinoff series failed to sell, however. Uh, Harmon landed a quite similar role to 240 Robert, a short-lived L.A. rescue series from Chips creator Rick Rosner. Uh, this was a subtle minor crossover with Chips. Speaking of Chips, there was a couple blink and you'll miss it crossovers between Emergency and the Motorcycle Patrol show. Squad 51 can be seen responding in the Season 1 episode Cry Wolf, while in Season 2, uh, Mate Team... Uh, Engine 51 and Squad 51 show up on the scene of a horrific, horrific pileup. Squad 51 made another cameo in season three, hot uh, in season three with Hot Wheels. There is a real Station 51 now. The LACOFD Fire Station 127 building in Carson stood in for the fictitious Station 51 on the television series. Station number 51 was allowed to be used by Universal Television as there was no real Station 51 at the time previously having closed in 1960. However, in 1995, when the Universal Studios in Universal City, California, required a fire station, it was dubbed Station 51 in honor of emergency. And there it is. Um, I, really, I really did enjoy um, the show very much. I did not realize there was a cartoon. I probably wouldn't have watched it anyway because car they, Saturday morning cartoons got to where they was messing up TV shows big time. Uh, they did the same thing with Star Trek. And, uh, I don't get it. To, anyway, um, that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed this. Please go check out classic rock and country music um, facts and trivia. Uh, pretty good one today, if I do say so myself. Um, so head on over there. If you can't find the link in the description below, let me know. In the comments, I'll shoot the link to you so you can get over there. Um, and um, make sure you subscribe when you get over there. And please share them out with your family and friends. Uh, have a great day, guys. Love you. God bless. And I'll be praying for you.